Carajo. Hello, my Sagittarian friends. I hope you're all doing well. Let's find out what's coming in for you guys. Money, career, finance. If relationships come in, it's because it's affecting your ability to make money. If uh, emotional things, family come in, it's because they could be affecting your ability to make money. It could be that money is affecting your relationships. So keep that in mind as well as we move forward. The lovers. Intimate relationships, carefully weighing your decisions, good health, that's beautiful. King of Cups, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, open your heart and mind to those around you. Trustworthy, heartfelt advice, charity work. What are you giving of yourself to outside of yourself, outside of your own benefit? There's something here about needing to do charity work to give. Trustworthy, compassionate, respected, and cultured. Finding balance in your emotions. Having compassion for other people. The lovers. Tell me about the lovers. Intimate relationships. Carefully weighing your decisions. Good health. Typically in tarot, this is about the choice between two. Deciding between two people. You have two options. Trying to make that decision. The ace of swords. Speaking your truth. This could be a double-edged sword. This could be somebody speaking their truth to you or vice versa. Nonetheless, taking this sword, cutting out the crap and heading forward will be your victory. Calling it as you see it, basically. Ten of Wands. Too much, carrying too much weight. Trying to get to the finish line, wanting to put the burdens down. But the Divine is saying, you're almost there. You're so close. You're so close. There's a new start coming for you. It will definitely be challenging. That is for sure. You're so close. You want to end things. Perhaps ask for help from your friends about what, ask them what to do. Maybe you've been doing that already. It could be something to do with the ending of a life in the family, or it could be someone passing away. It could also be the transformation of a situation, the end of a situation, deciding to put to an end whatever has been happening and in order to do so perhaps a decision needs to be made ten of pentacles family legacy there could be a scorpio involved carrying a heavy weight in some sort of way regarding a scorpio this is scorpio energy aquarius libra gemini energy as well but more mostly scorpio and gemini so Ten of Pentacles is about family legacy, it's about money, it's about finance. This person sitting here by themselves with their animal, wanting to go it alone, it seems, but made commitments, wondering if it'll be okay if you opt out. Some sort of commitment you may want to put to an end or opt out of to head into a new, new direction. Seven of Cups, looking at your options, trying to figure out what's going to make you happy, what's going to fulfill the situation. Deciding, well, someone's forgetting what they bring to the table here. Either that or you're, gonna, you're taking a whole change in trajectory from what you were initially going to do. Sevens, so there's a very spiritual journey going on right now with you. Very spiritual. It's like a, uh, trying to find balance as you make the decisions to move forward. King of Swords needing to take an absolutely logical approach. Someone's making a hard overhead decision. It's like by seven months from a certain event that happened... You'll be making a decision in a very logical way, trying to find balance in your emotions while you do it. This person never sits here and shows you emotion. In fact, they can be very hard and very cold with you. Trying to figure out which way you should go, what options you have. This is the month of April. But there's something that you definitely want to end, a soul contract or some sort of contract is ending. 
Queen of Swords. Well, there's the perfect match. Queen of Swords, King of Swords, taking a logical approach and moving forward. So the perfect match is here. The perfect match in energy, masculine and feminine, coming together. Has something to do with the... being very logical someone who's been hurt a lot and they might call her the bitch of the zodiac whatever's happening is going to take you great strength to step into i can tell you that much strength and courage to deal with it's almost like you're waiting on two people or circumstance or situation to come together before you make these decisions Perhaps the divine is trying to bring two people together based on family legacy. Hmm, that's interesting. It's a good time to give birth to new ideas and situations in your life. I'm over you. I'm, I'm watching over you and guiding you, protecting you during these changes. So there's change coming. Transformation and change based on financial matters. King of Cups, Cancer Pisces, Scorpio. We got Scorpio energy, Cancer. Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, it's, it doesn't have to be those signs, but, you know. These two together, it's like this guy runs forward based on logic, doesn't show emotion, rarely ever. This person will sit there and listen to what you have to say before they go ahead and cut the crap out. But you're starting to see things incredibly clearly, or this these two people are. Tell me about this other side here, angelic advice. You are flying high right now, which may threaten others, but don't descend because others will soon become inspired by your example. So there's something here about you being an example to others. Ten of Cups, hoping for emotional fulfillment. This here is the star card, wishes granted. If you step into the new, the divine brings wishes granted to you. You feel like anything you do hasn't worked up to this point, no matter where you try and put your emotional emotional prowess towards, it just runs back into the pond. And it's like you can't grow things. It's like homeostasis, hurry up and wait, <laughs> energy. You are flying high right now. Good news comes in, a sudden event, a change, and things start moving forward incredibly quickly. All of this time of homeostasis where you just thought maybe it, you know, where it just felt like you were going to croak or whatever, and then you have this, this uh, energy of all of a sudden having to make these choices and decisions. Tell me about the Seven of Cups. Communication coming in that you may not like. This is someone coming in very fast. Uh, air energy. But someone coming in very quickly with communication that causes, uh, makes cause for pause. But in actuality, I wonder if they're coming in to cut you out of this homeostasis energy. Seven of Pentacles could be dealing with the earth sign as well. Uh, trying to find a solid foundation financially. Tell me about this King of Swords. Now there's the King of Cups again. So I'd say this King of Cups, there's two Kings of Cups, possibly a Cancer and a Scorpio is what the cards are showing that uh, are trying to take things from a logical standpoint. One of them is incredibly passionate about money or something and the other one is incredibly passionate about logic. Wheel of Fortune spins with the Queen of Swords and the King of Swords coming together. So making a head over heart decision brings a change in something. There's a change in something coming based on a head over heart decision. Tell me about this death card over here, please. Conflict, competition, feels like there's a competition or something. Someone could be waiting. It's like you feel like someone's waiting for you just to kick off or something so that they can have this or have that this is your attitude but the divine is saying give birth to new opportunities and circumstances in your life that's where your joy is going to come from there's some sort of mental battle or emotional battle within you you're very passionate about many things there's the lovers again contract soul contracts or the divine bringing there's something you have to decide between you your money and others or others in your money there's some sort of decision you need to make here 
Ten of Wands, walking away from the heavy burdens. I'm not doing it no more. Screw that crap. Ace of Swords is the you deciding to screw that crap. Opportunities coming to you that are going to take a while to manifest. And the Magician, you have everything in your arsenal to manifest it. Well, that's beautiful energy. I like that for you. All right. Let's see what the Divine has as a final message for my Sagittarian friends. Metamorphosis. Trust this process and be patient. Becoming cannot be rushed. Change is beautiful. So there's going to be a massive change coming your way. An ending which brings about massive beginning. Or beginning, speaking the truth which brings out other things. Ending a cycle. We are all becoming. Surrender to your changes. Release your fear. Trust this powerful process. So becoming into the new is painful. The divine says they've got you though and they need your trust. They need your trust. You will be in this energy of flying high. Things are going to move very, very quickly. Very quickly. So please trust the process of ending one cycle in your life and heading into the new. I love you guys. Blessings.